Today, one of the biggest changes in reselling platform history happened with selling fees, and it is insane. Let's jump into it. Yeah, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Wednesday, March 27th, 2024 afternoon, and it is insane that today Macari announced there is no more selling fees to sell on Macari for items you list after today or update today going forward. You heard me correctly. No more selling fees, final value fees for selling on Macari. Previously, 10%, they have gotten rid of that. But what's the catch? You say there's always a catch. So the catch is, and when I'm done this video, I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think about this because I'm going to give you my opinion on this catch and you guys can let me know what you think. This is insane. So the buyer is actually going to incur an extra fee, which is the equivalent of basically the credit card processing fee, the 2.9% plus 30 cent on their $30 item. So essentially you can see that they're going to get hit with another, you know, dollar in fees or whatever it amounts to a hundred dollar, hundred dollar item is going to amount to, you know, $3 and 20 cents or $4 or whatever it amounts to with that percentage. So the seller no longer pays a fee, but the buyer incurs an extra fee when they're buying like a buyer premium. If anybody, how many people in the, are in the auction business or have been in the auctions know what I'm talking about when I say a buyer premium. You buy up all your stuff and at auctions, especially live auctions, they charge you a buyer premium, like say 10% sometimes. You you spend 200 bucks on an auction, they'll hit you with a $20 fee. That's how the auction house makes its money. Well, Macari is going that route. Also, Macari is going to charge a $2 fee to direct deposit to your bank account. They're gonna charge a $3 fee if you want to instant uh, transfer your money into your bank account. So they're gonna hit you on the fee side as well. No more free transfers from what I understand. The caveat with all of this is that buyers will have three days, 72 hours from the receipt of an item to file a return for any reason. It does not matter. Changed my mind, bought the wrong size, item not as described. They have three days, 72 hours to file a return for any single reason. So let me tell you guys how I feel about this. I'm going to break this down into the three separate parts. So the transfer to get your money, um, $2 and $3 is bullshit. The instant payment of $3, I understand a fee to get your money instantly. PayPal does it. Uh, eBay has the option. But $3, depending on how much money it is, is a lot. If you're transferring, say, 100 bucks, you're paying 3%. A lot of places do like 1% or 1.5%. 3% on 100 is is kind of steep. I get the instant transfer ability, which is cool, but it's a little steep. If you're transferring $500, $300, and it's 1%, that might make sense, right? I don't know if they have a fee higher than that. I mean, you could probably look into that. Uh, that side of it is steep, but I don't think that that's like the biggest concern here. The second one is no selling fees. Clearly that's amazing to sellers. That's gonna lure a lot of sellers in, right? So platforms are built on buyers, not sellers. You'll know that from Amazon and eBay, they always cater to the buyers. There's a reason for this. No selling fee, but charging the buyer an extra amount of money is going to cause so many people, which is only gonna just be displayed at the checkout screen from what I'm understanding. So you buy a $20 item, it's $5 shipping, it's 25 bucks. All of a sudden you get to the checkout screen, it becomes 28 bucks, right? That's gonna turn off a lot of buyers. When you own a selling platform like an eBay, like an Amazon, like an Etsy, like a Macari, the last thing you wanna do is you know, push away your buyers with anything at all. They, they always cater to the buyers They do it for a reason. Not saying they 100% cater to the buyers because you can get stuff done as a seller, but this is a big one. Charging them the fee, the credit card processing fee on top of it, which is normally coming out of a seller or out of the platform is bad for business. They're gonna learn real quick that that is not the way to make buyers happy and it's gonna cost, yeah, a ton of people are gonna come sell on the card, but a lot of buyers are gonna be turned off by that. You can have a million sellers, all the sellers in the world. If the buyers aren't coming, your platform sucks. You can have zero fees if you're not making somebody sales, doesn't matter. So that's the second part of it. And that's kind of my thought process on the second part. The third part, returns for any reason, that is gonna turn off sellers. Even though sellers are gonna say, well, I don't pay any fees, 
but now every one of their brothers returning stuff to me. Yeah, you're saving 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks on fees, but you're spending all this money on returns and labels. It could get out of hand in a quickness. I don't actually understand how they think that this is going to work out for sellers that they're going to they're going to lure sellers in with this no seller fee but then get rid of them by offering these returns. People hate returns. Sellers hate it. All the free fees in the world isn't going to turn that around. So I'm not a fan of it. Returns for any reason within 72 hours. Sometimes I get customers who wait weeks. Now I do free returns on eBay so people will, you know, take advantage of that, but man, any reason that just seems not okay with me. So we've got, you know, money fees to transfer your money, no seller fees. We've got, you know, returns for any reason. And we've got this, you know, profit. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. So it, it, to break it all down at once, Macari, in my opinion, and, and Macari, don't sue me for this, is taking a huge gamble, a huge risk. And I think it's going to backfire. I think it's dumb but I'm interested in what you guys have to say. I got a hundred emails, a hundred messages, a hundred DMs. Thank you everyone who sent all those messages, DMs and emails. It really means a lot to me that you guys think of me and pass these stories along to me all the way from like 7 a.m. when it's announced all the way to the afternoon when I'm recording this. I was not home. I could not get it up earlier. I apologize. You guys know I'm good about getting the news stories up as quick as possible. I'll do better. I'm, I'm really sorry guys. I wasn't home. I, I super apologize. We have family from out of town. so. With that said, this is the video, this is the story. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button as always, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you need fulfillment services, somebody to photograph, list, store, and ship your items for you, email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll get that out to you. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy your Wednesday afternoon, your hump day. And I'll see you guys again real soon, right back here tomorrow on Thursday. Thank you, everyone.